Hi there. My name is Steve Fleming um, and I've been involved in testing and programming Expert Advisors since 2007. I just wanted to put together a real quick video for you that shows you how to test your own Expert Advisors. And I also want to mention to you about a free resource that will show you how to program your own Expert Advisors and it's completely free. So uh, stick around and look, just watch the video and then I'll talk to you about the free resource. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up Strategy Tester, which you do by clicking on this icon up here, the one with the little magnifying glass. Okay, then the next thing you do is select the Expert Advisor you want to test. In this particular instance, I'm going to use uh, an Expert Advisor that I programmed for a client a couple of months ago. It's quite a simple Expert Advisor. It's basically an MA cross that has another indicator that will allow us to only take trades if the price is on the right side of that indicator. It's quite a simple strategy, but it, you know it's exactly what the client wanted, so it's what I programmed for them. Now, after you've selected the expert advisor, you select the currency. Uh, and again, for this test, we're just going to use the Euro USD. The tick model, uh, again, depending on how fast you want to test it and how accurate you want it, or at least as accurate as strategy tester can be, uh, you know, you would select which kind of model you want. And for this one, we're going to select every tick. Uh, date, we're going to select user the date. Now, the way I select dates is I literally just come in and go today on from and to. And then on the from, I just scroll back as far as I want to do. And then in this particular instance, we're going to do January the 1st. Um, if I want to do visual mode, I check this. If not, I, I take it off. If you do it in visual mode, it takes a little bit longer, but obviously you can see it as it's happening. So depending on what you want to actually achieve from your testing, you either have that on or off. When I have it on, I literally just crank the slider all the way up because I really d I don't need to see it going through slowly, slowly, slowly. It's very boring, very monotonous, so I just crank it all the way up. And then you select the time period, which in our case is going to be uh, the, the hour time frame, and then you just hit start. And as you can see, the, the EA is kicking off. It's doing doing what it does. Uh, now, this actually is going to take a little time because we're using the every tick model. So I will move the video along and we'll just look at the results at the end. Okay, so the expert advisor stopped. Um, it's placed all its trades. And we can look at uh, the results and just scroll through them. You can see it was using a trailing stop, which is why there's all these modifications happening. And if we look at the actual graph, we can see that ultimately, over the six-month period, it resulted in a loss. But that was just using the default uh, settings. Uh, I'm going to show you next how you can use the optimization settings to try and find uh, the correct parameters that will result in uh, a better outcome. Now, I should just say that Strategy Tester isn't 100% accurate, and that's because of the way it actually performs and the way it works. So you should only ever use it as a guide. Don't, and if you, if you do a back test in Strategy Tester and you, you, know, you find some settings that make you a million dollars, do not put it on a live account and go with real money until you've actually tested those settings on a demo account for you know at least two or three months with demo money and then you, you prove to yourself that they actually work if not then you have to either go back to strategy tester or try changing the settings on your actual demo account and then let it run for another month or two it might seem like it takes a little bit of time and it might seem boring but I assure you it's much better to do it that way than risk real money and ultimately lose the money so be very cautious okay before you risk any real money okay so as we can say we look at the report and we can see that you know this is all, all the data but ultimately the one we're interested in it lost money so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to go about optimizing your expert advisor so you click on settings and you come to expert properties and this is where you'd select the uh, parameters that you're gonna try different variables in and then you see which ones offer the best optimization which ones you don't so for this particular instance we're gonna change the 
fast MA period and the slow MA period. Now obviously your settings will, will differ depending on what your expert advisor is. So, but be very careful, don't test all of them in one go. Test a couple, see how that works out and then try those same settings but change a few other ones. So don't, don't do like 10 settings all at once. It will take you forever, literally 10 hours, which you don't want to do. So, okay, so we're going to just test the fast MA. We're going to start at 10. We're going to step five, which basically means how much are we going to increment? And we're going to go up to, let's say 50. Uh, and the slow, we're going to start at 20. We're going to increment by five and we're going to go up to 80. Okay, and then you click OK. Now, when you do an optimization, you can do every tick, but that will take forever. So, again, because we're only going to just test something, we're going to go with either control points or open prices. Okay, so if we go with just uh, control points, let's see how that goes. If it looks like it's going to take too long, then I'm probably going to turn off the video and go to uh, open prices. But for now, let's just see how that works out. So we check the optimization box and then we click start. Okay, now this can take quite some time. So what I'll do again, I'll move the video forward and I'll come back when it's finished and we'll look at the results. Okay, so Strategy Tester has, has finished doing the optimization. Uh, it actually just ran through 117 cycles, which wasn't too bad at all. Um, okay, so now we're going to look at the actual graphs, which isn't very exciting. And then we're going to look at the results. Now, I'll expand this window just so we can see it a bit clearer. And as you can see, um, the actual EA with optimized settings did pretty well. Um, you know, that one shows a profit of $10,000 which you know, is pretty good. If we could actually achieve that on a real account, I'm sure you'd be very, very happy. And the drawdown on that was only 14.8%, so it was literally next to nothing. This is a, a $10,000 demo account, so that's a pretty good return. Uh, as I say, though, a word of caution, don't just jump in straight with live money on any kind of expert advisor until you've tested it. Okay, but I'm just showing you in this video how you can use Strategy Tester and how you can, you know, not only test whether your expert advisor is working correctly, but you can also just play around with some different settings that will give you an idea what you can use when you put it on a demo account. Okay, so that's how to, to test a, uh, an expert advisor and how to optimize it. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about is uh, if you visit the link below in the description, It'll take you to my site, which will basically give you a five-day e-course that will show you everything you need to know to start programming your own expert advisors. Okay, it's an introduction, uh, and obviously if you want to go deeper, then I've also got plenty of information on the site that will show you how to do exactly that. Uh, plus as well, you'll also get updates and regular emails from me where I'll give you tips, advice, I'll give you free expert advisors and indicators and other helpful videos like this. So take a look at that link. Um, and definitely sign up and get yourself on there and get your free five-day e-course. Okay, thanks very much, and I'll talk to you again.